Everybody, we're Need to Breathe and we're backstage at the Ryman. This is our first ever acoustic tour we've done, and ending at the Ryman is, is pretty awesome. It's cool how this place went from being this, you know, a venue that we were in awe of and thought we'd never play, to now kind of feels a little bit like home. I think for me, it kind of it hit, hit me in waves, because as you tell people you're playing the Ryman, they, you know, they would freak out, they're like, what? You know, and it's, it just feels like, it, in everybody else's mind, it's a milestone too. So that there'll be people, you know, that come to the show to be a part of, you know, this special place. I also think of all, like, there's so many artists that have played that we're, we grew up listening to or that we're fans of now. To, for them to walk out in front of the stage and sing was such a big deal to them. And just to have that weight when you stand on the stage thinking that so many people felt the same way that you felt <laughs> or you're feeling in that moment, it, it, it can be a little overwhelming. It's pretty, it's pretty special. I feel like there's a conversation going on between the audience and the band, you know. Um, it's a good acoustic room, so travel, the sound travels well. In so many of the performance halls, you know, the room was designed for the show to sort of be played at the crowd, but not necessarily for this to be a communal thing where, you know, you can all see each other in the eye and you're all experiencing it together and there's a give and take. During sound check, it's just, I, I'm a visual person, but like during sound check, the sun kind of sets this way. So you got this classic, you know, light coming through the stained glass. So, I mean, it's hard not to think of something spiritual there. You imagine who must have been standing here before us and the history with it. But all of us walked off and were like, what just happened? We all, all had that look in our eye, you know? And I can't think of really any other place in the world we've played that's had that same impact on us. I think the thing we really want to do with our music every night, not just the last night of a tour, um, is to inspire people. Um, and a, the biggest way we do that is to enjoy ourselves. I think, you know, that's the goal of entertainers, I think, um, is people feed off how much you enjoy it, how much you put into it. And so I hope they leave thinking like, we played this show harder and with more soul than, you know, any show we've ever played. <laughs>